world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz, Andrew Schultz. Uh, I just seen um his his roast of Tom Brady. Uh, he did good. I expected, I, I expected, uh, uh, I expected more. I'm not gonna lie, I expected more just because of his crowd work. Uh, you know, he's a podcaster guy. You know, he, he spends all day roasting people. And, and, you know, but he did good. He 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 did, he did good. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, man, the evolution of Andrew and that haircut is it, wild, man. Uh, since Guy Code. Uh, I, I was introduced to this guy from Guy Code, and he, he he is funny. He is that's he he is funny. Some of his podcast takes, I don't know, but like as a comedian, this guy is is, is hilarious. So uh, let's go ahead and watch. This is Los Angeles. Get these jokes. I see. I seen the uh, the thumbnail, so I think it's about it's about Diddy. There was this clip going around where he was talking about me. <laughs> I want to find that. Where's that from? I want to find the full length of him uh, talk, talk about the Meek situation. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, look, if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know you were here. No more go squatching, all right? If you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here. That's love. I appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and watch. Oh, I think DJ Academic just went on No Fragrant again. I said no fragrant. Is it fragrant too? Flagrant too? Whatever. His podcast. <laughs> His podcast. I think DJ Academics just went again. If if I'm not mistaken, I gotta look that up. But anyways, let's let's go ahead and watch this. LA, I'm here. LA, I got tired, man. I got tired of the media trying to smear this great city. Every time I turn on the TV. They're saying you're a bunch of fucking criminals, drug addicts, and pedophiles, and it's bullshit. That is not the whole city. That is a very small, specific section of the city. It's called Diddy's House. That is, th listen. <laughs> is Diddy going to jail? What's the over-under? Someone asked Shohei Otani. I know he got the... <laughs> Those Japanese love gambling, bro. Or I believe they call it driving. But whatever, man. Listen, this is the only reason I think he might be guilty uh, is the evidence. Um, the evidence is a motherfucker, bro. But now the other reason is because every celebrity in LA has had their home robbed except Diddy. Like Rihanna got robbed. That's a good Fucking point. Fucking Keanu Reeves got robbed. Paris Hilton got Keanu. robbed. But no Diddy. And I thought about it. It's like, bro, robbing Diddy is terrifying. Because <laughs> what if he's there? <laughs> you break down the door. He's butt naked on the couch. <laughs> Meek Mill sitting on his lap. Just, <laughs> just petting him like a Maltese cat. Just, Meek Mill crying. Oh no, wait a minute. I thought you was finished. <laughs> then he's like, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> you try to run out, you run out, the door is locked. You're locked in, you turn around, all of a sudden you hear. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I can't be stopped now. It's your asshole tonight. <laughs> I'm tired. What's up, baby? Sit the fuck down. We know you're Armenian. Just sit down. It's fine. I've never seen a more Armenian guy in my life. Motherfucker Ubered himself here. That was incredible. Shout out to Armos. We got Armos in the building. Bro. I love you, motherfucker. The greatest scam artist in America, bro. Maybe in the world. Undefeated in scams. Medical insurance, amazing. Choreographed car accidents, incredible. But the greatest scam that you guys have ever completed was convincing all of us you're not Mexican. When you are, we know you're Mexicans. You love Jesus, you fucking drive Postmates, and you barbecue with a white beater. You're fucking Mexicans. 
Only difference is when an Armenian girl cheats on her boyfriend, she does it with a black guy. That's the only difference. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. They're just keeping up with the Kardashians, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that, that, the, the rest is just music. Uh, it's always the ones with the hits. You feel me? Like, Diddy got all, all, all the hits. But I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, Diddy, a lot people have been skeptical of Diddy for a long, long time. Like, you see everything that's surfing now, surfacing. Well, the Drake and, and, and Kendrick beef kind of, like, distracted us from it. But all that, all that that was surfacing was crazy. And I feel like, you know, Diddy ain't going nowhere, man. Ain't nothing going to happen to Diddy. Diddy ain't going nowhere, man. I feel like Diddy is is well, 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 well protected, you know. But look how nobody has said a thing about Diddy since since this Kendrick, Lamar, and Drake thing. Now they're trying to throw Drake in that position. They're trying to sacrifice Drake. <laughs> now, uh, intro shows, man. Uh, hilarious guy. Uh, flag flagrant, too. That's that's the name. Anyways, uh, hilarious guy, man. Ruthless guy. That shot at Meek was messed up, yo. That shot at Meek was messed up, uh, you know. But Meek, <laughs> this guy, man. Take this guy's phone, bro. Right? Take this guy's phone. But all of that died down. Uh, do I believe the victims of Diddy? I don't believe the dude, but I do believe Cassie. It, it, just because, man, like... If you're not in hip hop culture, you probably like, oh Diddy, oh my God. But yo, Diddy had a bad name ever since like the, the Tupac beef. He had a bad name even way before that. Like just weird things were always happening around Diddy. Like his colleagues just dying out of nowhere, him throwing parties that got people killed. Uh like Diddy and and, and yeah, and yes, the gay rumors too has always been there. So, you know. The fact, but it, it it has always been rumors and stuff. The fact that you start hearing like this guy is really like the boogeyman, and you know, and and, and she, he's his fucking dudes in the ass is wild. It's, it's, it's wild. But I, that's all I said about that, man. Look, I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what you better look? Nah, actually, tell me what's next from Andrew. I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what you better be the peace. <laughs>